Hi, Teddy, Tariak. Um, I hope I'm like calling your name properly. Um, hi, Jim. Yeah, we are going to have a lot of webinars. Um, like this is the first one, and then we'll like go by like topic by topic, like LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and talk about all the different growth hacks that uh, we'll be doing using Tugzo. In this, like in this one, we'll just like going to like talk all the basic things which are there on the platform and how you can use it. And then like as you move ahead, we will be like talking more and more complex stuff. Oh, okay. Let me just um is it is it good now or like sound is like still too loud? Alec? Uh, next webinar is going to be um, like after a week. So after every week, we will be having like a webinar. Um, I'm traveling like next week, so um, let's see what we did we get. Maybe around like 30th of this month or like first of first December, we are going to have another webinar. Okay, great. Let's wait for like another like two minutes and then um, we'll we'll start our uh, webinar. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Tariq, we are going to like post on our intercom or on our on our website that we are going to do a, win a webinar, and uh, you can basically just register it. And yeah, so uh, after this one, we are also going to like send emails as well, so that everyone gets to know that like webinar is happening on this date, and you can just register it. Let's see how many users, uh, how many people we have right now. Should we should we get started or like wait another for like another two three minutes? It's too hot here. I didn't turn on my fan due to like it will make start making noise. Um, just wanted like my voice to be like clear so that everyone can hear me. And I have like a light here, so it's like making increasing temperature. <clears throat> Okay, it's nine. It's nine or two for me. Like two minutes. Um, yeah, Dian. Uh, yeah, definitely. We are going to discuss all things about security as well, which is like another very important topic that everyone was asking about TechZo. So yeah, uh, we are going to discuss security as well. Yeah, uh, definitely. I can. Uh, I Showing you how to use LinkedIn for Kai. Um, we, yeah, I'm going to show you like how to use CSV and Google Sheet um, with with the new URL finder. Definitely proxies as well. Uh, we'll be discussing why proxies needed, uh, how to add that, uh, which proxy is good, every single thing. Yes, Jack, uh, the Chrome extension is a like, very important topic that uh, most of people are finding complicated. So we are going to discuss how to install and use Chrome extension as well. Do we have to uh, have our own proxies or do you guys provide? Um, yeah, so uh, right now we don't have our inbuilt proxy. So you'd be, you need to like, get uh, any proxies uh, from like any proxy provider. Uh, we recommend like Luminati or uh, Proxy Mesh. But it's totally up to you. Uh, you can use any any proxy service that is like available that is cheap in your in your country or in your city as well. Um, a webinar will be like we are recording this webinar and it will be available uh, on YouTube and also inside our uh, app uh, so that everyone can like watch it anytime. It will be available forever. I think it's nine uh, nine four. It's like four minutes. So let's let's get started. Um, is a VPN at goes at proxy? Uh, VPN is like uh, another level of proxy. Uh, proxy is like uh, I'll be coming, like discussing all things. So I'm going to start now. I think uh, four four five minutes are already gone. So uh, let's get started. I can't see how many people we have right now. But yeah, I think uh, everyone can like we are going to record this anyway. So. Everyone can like watch it anytime. 
Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and then we'll start to jump in into Texa. Yeah, Adrian, let's do it. Okay, can you see my screen? Adrian, Praveen, can you see my screen? Hi guys, can you see my screen? Okay, great. Yeah, so um, this is Texo. Um, so let's talk what Texo is and why the name Texo. Um, so Texo is like a combination of two words, uh, text and automation. And it's not like something that we were like discussing. Uh, we decided like we didn't have like any discussion on finding a name or something like that. We just like just joined two words, text and automation, and that's how the word Texo has come. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing that you will see once we complete the, all the onboarding stuff. Basically, just once you fill all your like name and um, all the details, this is the first thing that you will see. Can you make your screen bigger? Uh, yeah, let me just check. Um, okay, let's turn off my video. Okay, I turned off my webcam. Uh, Hi, Juan. Uh, is this is this my screen is uh, still like small or like um, is it not happening good? Um, is is my screen like now? Is this looks bigger or like still it's, it's looking small? Okay, great. Um, yeah. So once you complete all your onboarding, this is the first screen that you will see. And here, like we list all the automations that we have. Um, yeah, so right now we have around 90 or something automation and we are like testing around 25 automation right now. Uh, let's open our roadmap as well, uh, since we haven't discussed that as well. So the first thing, uh, what are spices uh, that you see when you, um, like first complete your onboarding and by the way like uh, i'm not sure have you guys seen that but if you click on the logo uh you will see some of the videos and some quick start guides um like if, did you know about this uh we received this feedback like then we, we added this icon here which says like quick start uh done how many you have completed uh we just added this this today like, this was updated today so i hope like everyone else was knowing about this um Okay, Alex, is it still hard to read, or that's better, or uh, is it is it good now? I'm just checking comments, and uh, Alex says it's hard to read. Um, let me just increase the size screen. Now uh, it's good. I just uh, increase the size. Alex, this is for you. Good enough, great. Right? Uh, yeah. So when you like when you click on the logo, you will see some of the videos that we have added uh, to that just get started with the platform, like law, philosophy, you know the platform, then your first spice, then your first recipe, why we implement limits. I'm going to discuss all of this, uh, but definitely you can watch the individual videos as well. Great, so that you you know like takes off uh, very well. Okay, so let's talk about the spices. Uh, spices are basically a single automation that will do something on the web, like um, finding a profile on LinkedIn, or sending a message on LinkedIn, or adding a uh, adding someone as friend on Facebook, or watching a story, right? Or maybe just leaving a profile on LinkedIn, right? So these are like individual actions that we do on different social media platforms, and we call them spices. So Texas spices are individual automation 
that we do on any social media platform or basically any website. So right now we have around 90 automations and we are testing around 25, which are going to be available as we go ahead. So uh, which, which platform do you support right now? Facebook, Flaglist, Full Contact, some HTML, basically websites, uh, automations, Hunter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Quora, Slack, Product Hunt, Twitter, Medium, Reddit, and soon we are going to add what is coming next is uh, Amazon, eBay, Blacklist. There will, there will be like more automations on Blacklist, uh, Tokopedia and Shopee, which is uh, for all the like Asian countries use uh, these websites um, highly. So we are like looking to do this automation as well. Um, so yeah, these are all things which are coming ahead in the, in the spices. Uh, let's try uh, and then yeah, let's move all the menus. So check the menus as well. So this is recipes. Um, okay, great. Um, so this is recipe. What recipe is? Um, so now we saw the spices, right? So recipes are basically a way to mix all the spices and make a food or maybe make, make a recipe, right? So uh, you are making different spices. You are combining different spices like maybe something from LinkedIn, something from uh, Facebook. If something happens on Instagram, then do this or pull some data from LinkedIn and then uh, find those people on Facebook. So all such kinds of like spices can be mixed together and we can build complex recipes. So that's what recipe is all about and how to run recipe, how all the like buttons are organized. We are coming with that part later. And now we have public recipes. So. Um, this is like still like improvement is happening on this page. So public recipes are recipes that we created so that you can easily like use it. So if I click on this, so this is a uh, scrap link profile uh, of Instagram post commenters. Um, they will be like scrap all the post commenters of any Instagram post, find those people on LinkedIn, and then it will basically scrap all the link profile details. And you can see what inputs are required, what output you will get and how to use this and when you click on use this recipe it will be added in your account okay so this was public recipes uh, i'm just explaining all the different terms we will come back to like all inside of like how to use that all things later then we have results page so results are your place where you get to see all your executions that you have done in the past how was your like all the logs and then uh, which platform it is based on how much time it took, right? And then you can, when you, when you click on results, you will see all the data. And then we have a CRM. So CRM is like a central place where you will see all your like executions um, Let's say like if you use extract image 10 times, so CRM will give you like all data of any spice that you have run till like say uh, unlimited times, you will get all that result combined in CRM. So CRM is going to be a really good place where you can, you'll be seeing all the data that you have like uh, received from any automation. Uh, so this is like CRM. If you have any questions, feel free to like uh, drop it here. I'm like checking comments as well. Um, but I hope like, um, are you guys like understanding what I'm trying, like saying, or am I going too fast or anything? Alex, Lee, at the end, hoping to get some feedback from you. Uh, am I like going too fast or it's good, all good? Are you guys able to understand everything? All good, great, uh, you are good, thank you, Jack. Um, yeah, so this one like CRM. So what I mentioned about CRM is that this is the place where you will see all your data of any spice that you have used till date. So this is what CRM does, and we will get uh, go inside CRM as well. We'll see what what are these actions, what are this column is all about, and how you can like add tags and all that. Uh, that will come back to this part later. And like now we have something called request or spice. So um, if anyone wants to like do any automation, which is not related to social media platform, something really specific that they want, then we can do that um, for them. 
actually it will be like accessible only to them so that what that is like all uh, custom spice is all about and um many many people have asked us that like uh can anyone like uh request any spice which is related to any social media platform uh we don't do custom spice on any social media platform so if anyone wants to like say if someone requested uh give me like add as a friend automation on facebook we can't do it if someone says uh give me like uh replies on reddit we can't do it since it is related to social media platform right so uh we cannot do it if it's something related to like any specific website that you use on like in your daily work then we can build that custom spice for you so uh social media platform based spices cannot be requested by anyone uh since it's going to be available for free on our platform so you know we cannot like give exclusive access to that person right so uh, it's very important point to note then here we have like texor roadmap why we added this like tab here since we want everyone to uh, see our roadmap and uh, get to know how how like where we are doing things like how we are going so or you can always come back to our roadmap uh, vote on things that you want to see on our platform and based on the votes we prioritize so if you have if, if you have seen this uh, roadmap few days back uh, google map maps we just scraper was in feedback and ice box but now it is like moved to exploring and uh, after few days you will see uh, it is in progress so based on votes that we get on each integration each automation we keep on like adding that in our to do and then it it goes live so a roadmap is really important don't forget like vote uh, on the roadmap okay uh is there a better recipe example description of what each spice does a recipe does hi megan yeah definitely uh we don't have right now like written description um but um, i'll make sure that we have uh that ready in, in upcoming month so right now it's like 80 we never like um try like we never got time to actually like write all the description and everything for our each of our like, spices so but i'm spending a lot of time with like our customers and uh, doing support and preparing some content for everyone so be sure it will be available in the upcoming month so that like you can just read or you can even watch videos as well and like see how how each spice works so what we are going to do this was discussed today in, in the morning with our team what we are going to do um if i open let's say sales navigator really request we are going to add here like a, a question mark uh, or when you click on that you will see a small like video uh, pop up that will explain how to use this files so that's what we are trying to do since content part is like gone gone everyone is like trying to save their time that's what texo is all about right we don't want you to like spend time in doing things um so we will be adding videos on each files just click on the question mark uh, see the pop up video and just try the correct like automation so uh, can, we want to like adding description but each spice is going to have a video yeah uh, yeah uh, grammy i'm going to uh, show you how to use a word sheet with recipes i just hope like i'm like explaining things clearly so that i will be able to like understand things if you have any questions if i'm going too fast please do like drop a comment um feedback and uh, is very important for us so um please like drop, drop your honest comments and anything can you show one example like navigator you just had yeah sure um i'm coming to that part uh, so just i'm just showing like all the navigation navigation so when you click on logo you get to see all the onboarding videos uh spy like automation all the spices that you can use recipes basically you can mix spices together and build your pipeline widget pipeline or anything and uh, here we have public recipes where it's like ready made recipes that you can use um then results page where you, you get to see all the results logs and uh, each individual spice results as well crm is like center place where you get to see all your data of all your past executions of any spice request a spice you can request a spice for you like for us um for you right and then um it is it shouldn't be related to like any social media platform it, it needs to be like custom spice of any website then roadmap is where you we need your help in deciding features that you want to see so always check our roadmap yeah uh, someone asked about the roadmap on this video drop a comment here okay 
uh, yeah, so here uh, we see execution time, so which is like very important part of text of the whole pricing things depend on this. So it's, it's you can always check here how many times and how many like minutes and seconds are left. And then here we have what's new. Um, where if you click on this, you get to see all things that we are doing, like how we are like updating our platform. Uh, here it's basically it, it shows you like maybe like notifications, right? Something is failed or something has completed. Uh, all that you will be seeing here. Then let's go to our like accounts. Uh, when you click on this logo, you get to see uh, our accounts. So here we have have some reading code uh, that we all know. First name, last name, email, then upstream. This email field won't be visible. Uh, it cannot be edited. Uh, so yeah, you, you cannot edit this part. Then city, uh, country, yeah. So based on like what you select here, the icons or like platforms that you select, based on that, we show you recommended spices. So you can always check, um, you can always come and update here so that we are showing you latest recommendations and latest spices for the platform that you choose, right? So make sure this part is like always, always updated for you. And here you can see like what is your basically plan, uh, execution time per day, time executions, recipe, access to premium spices, yes. E management, e management remaining, and all that. Okay, let's. Uh, this is like proxy. Here uh, we'll be like adding all the proxies. How to use proxy? I'll be coming to all that part later. Basically, here you will add all the proxy, test proxy, add proxy, and variables. I'll I'll be coming to that part as well. You can like add variables so that it's available across the whole platform. Um, then yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so now we know like how everything is organized, right? Uh, do you have any questions on like menu and all that, or do you want us? Do you want us to like improve anything in terms of like menu or like options? Uh, how can I extend my pipeline outside of Texas Universe? Say I want to push the data to Zapier or DB. Uh, yeah, hi, uh, yeah, Alex, I'm going to discuss that part as well. Um, yeah, uh, okay. So let's dive in. Um, let's try one of the simplest automation. Okay, LinkedIn profile URL finder, one of the most important like spice that we have, and it is one of the easiest one. Um, so what this does, it returns LinkedIn profile URL of full user name and optional company name. And uh, this option was not there before, but we added it based on the feedback since uh, what happens was that what was happening that like whenever you go to like a space, you were seeing the same uh, spice name, right? But you were not able to like figure out what was the data inside, right? So um, what have like what we improved is that you can now name this attribution. So I can like name um, like webinar demo, okay, right? And then uh, let's type the query. So what it will do, whatever query that you will provide, it will search on Google on and on LinkedIn, and it will try to find the LinkedIn like URL profile URL. And definitely, why this is like important is that. When you get LinkedIn profile URL, then you can basically start the whole LinkedIn automation work, right? Basically, all your dream, dream campaigns can be started. So this is going to be like the first step. That's why it's a premium spice, and this is one of the like most important one for LinkedIn. Um, best to improve is step by step videos. Yeah, definitely we are like this is like the basics of like things. Uh, we are going to like go ahead like and move into more complex and complex parts in the coming time. Okay. So um, let's type. Let's type this one. I'm going to type my name. And uh, yeah, so how this query can be improved? Uh, we are going to like discuss Google Sheets as well. But uh, here, I'm just like first. I'll try with like simple my name. And uh, you can improve this query by like adding a lot of data as well, like full name. And then I can provide my company name, right? Or or my name, or, or like Texo, or like Pure Product, which was like all the other company, right? So basically, if you in the query, you can like merge different fields of, of your Google Sheet and make like a single column query and pass that. That will improve your search results. I hope you are getting it. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that as like more data you have in the query field, better your results will be, right? So in the query field, just don't just add like full name. If you have company name, if you have um, domain name, just 
give a space and add that right so like this right so that this will improve your results right because basically we search on google and we search on linkedin and based on that we provide new results right so if you have full name and company name if you have full name or domain name you can merge those two fields um, by like putting a space between that and pass that whole sheet so um let's try this one i'm going to like click on fetch url let's see what we get so it will take me to results page now you, you are seeing like the execution name, right? LinkedIn profile URL finder. And execution name is this. It says found. Uh, this was, this is my LinkedIn profile that it got. I'm just going to copy this. Let's show you here. How is it better than search on LinkedIn? Uh, so if you have like a huge uh, Google sheet or like CSV of full names, uh, then you can basically use this uh, to get all your data like at in just like few minutes. If you do this whole search on LinkedIn, uh, like you have to like go one by one, it will take a lot of time, right? And best part is that this automation doesn't require cookies. So uh, you don't need to like do anything. You don't even need your cookie. So this is going to be one of the like very important one on TechZaw. So yeah, so as you can see, um, this is the URL that it got, right? Uh, this was like my profile and I just copy and pasted it here. And this is what we are seeing, right? So it worked. Now what we are going to do, I'm going to like uh, use a Google Sheet here. Um, so automation URL, LinkedIn profile URL finder, let's try Google Sheet. Uh, I need two names, so I'm just going to I'm opening like I'm creating a Google sheet and then we'll pass that uh, to TechZot to find like all the using the profile URLs. So let's create a blank sheet. I hope like um am I like understandable? Do you do you have any questions? Am I going too fast? Feel free to like stop me anywhere, just write like just add comment and I'll be like giving like all the explanations that we need. So if I use a query field that I can look for one contact by passing in different info about this contact, if I were to look for many contacts, I'd have to upload a CSV file, right? Yes, I definitely, uh, you're you are getting it. You just need a CSV. That's what we are going to discuss now. So um, I have created like MP, like I'll just add webinar, URL finder, and here I'll just add like, And um, add this. And now um, let's try to add some names. So um, let's say page. And then uh, I'm just going to use uh, your name. I hope that is uh, okay. So let's try a few names from here. Um, do you need sales navigator to run LinkedIn spies? Uh, no, Anand, not really. Uh, sales, we have sales navigator spies, which are different from like normal LinkedIn account. So uh, you can run a lot of LinkedIn automations, which, which does not require sales navigator. Uh, <clears throat> let's try a few more names here. Um, uh, try, I'm going to use your name. Um, Okay, uh, let's try a few more names. Alex, I hope you're okay. I'm just using your name. Um, yeah, so that should be good. I think like, that's enough, right, for us to like, show the example. So now what we are going to do, uh, we have like a header, which is query, and then we have five names, right? I'm just going to like, create a like, share, uh, and then I'm going to create links, which are, you just need to like create public view, view link and just copy this link. Um, I just copied it. I'll go back to TechSaw, paste this Google Sheet. And now you can see um, I have two, two important things that we need to like 
uh, keep in mind is first one is like header is like query, right? So if this sheet has a header, uh, that is like first thing. And then uh, in column one, uh, we have uh, all the names. And then you can have like some more, like in column B, you can have a lot of things. So uh, you don't like create, every time you don't like create a new sheet, you can just, a lot of, there are a lot of things can be here. Like I can add just some basic things here and all that. Okay, so it doesn't matter what we add in here. Um, yeah, so in the first in the first uh, row, I have this query, and then I have these three names. So I'm just I created this uh, for sheet. Now I pasted that Google sheet here. I'll make like add column. Your, it says uh, query your column index. So on text column index starts with like one, two, three, not like A, B, C. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll just write one since like the first column has all the queries, right? So I'll just type one here. And then it says that the sheet have the first row for headers. Definitely yes. And then this is like another very important part, uh, process only individuals. So why this is like uh, a very good feature is that let's say like you're using type form, you're using Zapier, which is like pushing all your like data in per sheet, right? So you can enable this so that uh, whenever you're running this automation, a bit like this uh, good sheet, it won't like process the same data again and again. So it will only check for new data that you have added and that will be processed. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to click submit, take me to results. Okay, so uh, the good thing is that we are getting a lot of uh, data. Uh, so like, you can see it didn't take like even a few seconds, right? It just took like 2.9 seconds. Uh, the, we can see how the fast this is. And if I add like 10,000 like or rows, like 10,000 names here, it will take hardly like two or two, three minutes and give you all the data. So I just like opened this webinar and then moved to this and it, it, this was like completed. So it's very fast. Let, let's check the result of what we have here. Um, Bill Gates, this. And then, uh, I Alex Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so now we can see the results. Um, let's see what we got. Um, Guy, I'm sure this is your profile, right? You look great. Um, this is your LinkedIn, right? And uh, Bill Gates was there. So this is like Bill Gates profile. Um, then Alex, um, okay, this doesn't seem to be um, the Alex that we were looking for, uh, but it's okay. We can add like, so we can improve this query by adding, uh, let's say if you have, um, let's see how we can improve this query. So. In here, like I have, if I have like say company and then like all the company names, right? So I, if I, what I need to do, like I'll just add, combine these two like uh, columns into one by separated by space, right? So that will improve our query. Now we will have full name and then company name. So when we search on, on Google, when we search on LinkedIn, we get better results, right? Since we have full name and company name both. So that will give us better results. So you can improve this query by adding more and more data. So uh, now we got like all the profiles that we were like looking for, right? Um, not mine. Yeah, definitely Alex, I can understand it's not yours. Um, maybe there was like, that Alex was like famous or something. Uh, but yeah, I, if I add your like company name or something, then that will definitely give you your, uh, your link there. So uh, now we know how to run uh, like basic files, right? Hope I hope like everything's clear. Can can you automate pulling all the followers from an Instagram and then automatically follow them with another account? Uh, yes, Jack, we can do that. Uh, I'll just uh, like explain you how to do that, but like I won't go in depth. But I'll just like show you quickly um, after after some time. Okay, so now we know how to run like simple spice. Let's go back and run some complex ones. Let's see how to use our um, the extension. So uh, for that, um, I'll again choose um, search extractor. 
Okay, uh, so here we get get cookie extension, and then if I click here, it will be changed to get cookie since I already have the Chrome extension inst uh, like installed. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just like remove Chrome extension from here. And now I'll just refresh this page. Now our like page, our like website will check whether you have the Chrome extension installed or not. Since our Chrome extension is not present, it will show you get cookie extension. So I'll just click on this. It will open the like page. And let's add this Chrome extension. Okay, Chrome extension is added. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'll check, I'll, you can like, what you need to do is refresh this page again and see what, what button name is there. Um, so it's, it's, it's still showing like get cookie extension, but if I click here, like it will simply like check again and like this will be converted to get cookie, right? So what everyone was, was doing wrong is that they were like clicking on this logo. Uh, but that was like our mistake. Why we had not updated these images. So. Um, I think like that was like the mistake that everyone was doing. Uh, I hope now, now that should be like fixed. So when you add Chrome extension, just refresh that page like again a few times and then just try clicking on this button. All that needs to be done is that this page should detect that Chrome extension is there. And then this button will like convert it to get cookie. Now if I click on this, cookie will be added for me, right? So um, this is like very easy to use. Uh, Try again this extension. It's very easy, easy to use, and uh, this was not working for many people because, like, it was making us um, very sad. But I hope now now it's very clear, so it should push to work. Uh, now it says search text or URL. So uh, let's see how we can improve our search and how we can get better uh, search results uh, on LinkedIn, and then use all the data to find like get all the pages from LinkedIn search. So I'm, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to type on something like growth hackers. And then I'll add connections second. I'll add uh, locations as United States. And then uh, let's see what all features we have. Um, Digital marketing, marketing, apply. Okay, so showing me sequence. Okay, that's not good. Um, just to move this. Okay, so this page, this has like twenty five pages figures. Now, what we are going to do? I'll just like copy this URL and paste it here. So uh, since we have less time, I'm just going to type five here. Just like I just need five pages, but you can add like max up to hundred pages, and that will give you like an, all the profiles that we get on search page. So now I have added like cookie. I have added like search URL. By the way, you can add like search text as well, like sales or marketing, sales and marketing, sales marketing and United States. So you can add that text as well. And now added like five pages. I'll just click on extract search results. Let's see what we get. Take me to this page. Let's see what are the logs connecting to LinkedIn, connected, getting data for search, this, getting data from page one, we got URLs for page one. Uh, please make the same extension for Firefox. Yeah, Alex, uh, yeah, we are, we are totally working on Firefox. Um, I'm sorry that it's not available right now, but definitely in the upcoming weeks it will be available. We are just like it's, it's really hectic for us since like AppSumo is going on. Um, but yeah, we are still working to make that Firefox extension available. Will it grab image as well from LinkedIn? Uh, unfortunately, like I'm sorry, I don't like, but it won't grab emails since it's not public, and we can only extract public data, not like anything private. So. To find LinkedIn, you can like emails. You can always uh, use any email uh, finder tool, uh, and these are like all business people, so it's very easy to find emails of any like business person. Uh, but uh, since many people are like into B two C business as well, 
for B2C on Facebook, it's really hard to find emails. But for LinkedIn, it's, it's not going to be like super hard. Uh, okay, so as we were talking, like we got like five pages results. Let's see what we have. I'll click on results. Okay. Um, Traveling David V. Traveling David V. Matthew Davis. Uh, Matthew Davis. Asher Dab, Dinesh Vineja. Okay, so now we have all the data, right? Which is again like a very good thing. Now you have all the data. What you can do now, uh, now you can have like full name, first name, everything, right? So we can easily like find the emails of this person, like all, all these people. And then, uh, or you can do even better than this. Like you can, now you have like all the like profile URLs. We can use like LinkedIn scrap profile to like scrape all the like profiles, right? All the profile data. So if I visit this user and see what it, they have. So if I use like LinkedIn profile scrap, oh sorry, LinkedIn profile scrapper, it will give me all this data. And using that, we can improve our tar targeting of each person, right? So now you can see how Texas is going to be useful. Now you have all the search years. You can use scrap profile to get all the profile data of any user. And then we will analyze what their content, what, what their role was previously, what are their posts that they are talking about, right? Where they're located and based on that, we will be like writing highly targeted messages, highly targeted campaigns for each of those users. And uh, soon we are going to add Lemonist, we are going to add Hyperize, we are going to integrate active campaign. So you can like just get all that data and push that to Lemonist or like Hyperize and you can basically like write better emails, better cold emails, right? So this is where Texas is going to be really useful. Uh, I hope that was clear. Um, hope that was clear. Uh, do you have any questions on on that part, like how we use Reset for like Google Sheet and how um, we got the results? It's, it's all clear, right? Anand, Alex, Jack. Do you have any questions on on this part? Should we move to recipes? Okay, great. Uh, yeah, great, Andrian. Uh, let's move to recipes. Um, you can download this CSV, and if I go back to my CRM, I'll be like seeing all the data. And here, like you, you see some like filters. You can remove which fields you don't want to see. Uh, you can see in the background uh, if I hide anything, say uh, timestamp. Timestamp will be hidden. If I add like URL, it will be hidden, right? So. If you, if you are seeing a lot of details, you don't want to see uh, all everything, you can use these filters here, which will hide all in case. And you can download the CSV here. OK, uh, and yeah, here we have some search as well. So you can find search here as well. OK, uh, let's move to recipes. So now we, we learned how to use cookie, how to use Google Sheet in any uh, spices, right? and um, where to get all the onboarding videos. That is like our logo. And uh, how to add proxy, we'll come back to that part. But yeah, let's move to recipes. So what are recipes? Recipes are a place where uh, you, you get to like mix all the spices and uh, run complex automations. And uh, how recipes are going to be really powerful in the coming time? Right now, we have like LinkedIn uh, and all the platforms, right? But in the coming time, we are going to add here like you'll be seeing active campaign you'll be seeing like uh integral map you'll be seeing lemonist here you'll be seeing hyperize here you'll be seeing uh, outplay right so basically you'll be like connecting different tools together and build complex automations so we are working very hard to bring all the integrations that you want and in the upcoming time we'll be you'll be seeing things are getting more and more powerful Okay, so let's talk about the recipes. Um, so I was like talking about like scrapping both real page and let's, let's see how, how we can use that in the recipe. So I'm just going to try. This webinar was I think like for one hour, but I, um, I think it's, it's going to get more and more like longer. Uh, but we have like one hour in the like next time we'll be like discussing more parts. Okay, so um, LinkedIn here you can type search as well. Search extractor.
I love to see how uh, see a recipe that pushes that CSV data into okay. If we get time, uh, we'll we will show you that as well. But otherwise, uh, I'll make a video and uh, share that in our onboarding video so that you can see how it works. I'll, this is for you, Alex. Um, since we have very less time and like I'm trying to like explain everything in like in details so that you get to know how, how everything works. So yeah, uh, we were talking about recipe. Okay, so the first step is like search extractor, and then I'll just simply add um, profile scrapper. You can type your search. Um, scrapping profile. Okay, and then uh, you can add some like conditions here as well. Um, okay, something is going on. Seems like my extension is blocking the request. Okay, so here we have this is so weird. Oh god. Okay, something seems off. Uh, let's go back to home page and try again. Okay, uh, recipes. Let's try any like created recipes which are already created. Um, let's try this one. Instagram post commenters, uh, LinkedIn profile, URL finder, scrap LinkedIn profile. I'm not going to use Instagram right now since. Uh, I don't like. I have to, like add to like proxy and everything. So let's not go in that detail. But I just I'm just looking for any good one which has which is related to LinkedIn. Uh, okay, let's start this one. LinkedIn company URL, LinkedIn company info, LinkedIn company employees. Okay. Okay, uh, so what this recipe is going to do, it will like get um, company name as uh, as an input, and then uh, it will find like all the company info, and then it will find all the company employees. So this is what this recipe is going to do. When you when you uh, when you clone any recipe from public recipe page, or uh, you will see these variables here, and. Uh, when when I click on like run recipe, it will ask all the variables that I need to like just enter, and then I can basically run this uh, recipe. So um, yeah, let's let's uh, something name. I just simply add my cookie here. Um, okay, variables are created for me, so I don't need to add anything. Number of pages for company, I'll simply write two. Okay, uh, now I'll just simply save it and click on run recipe. Uh, reached parallel execution limit. Okay. Even for me, it is showing like reached parallel execution limit. That is so, so weird. <laughs> Okay, let me pin my team. They are like adding limits on text account as well, which is like they are just doing a lot of extra work. I'll just ping my team. Or like uh this I can just explain you everything and the real demo I can like you can just try everything. Um and then uh, if you have any questions, we can like you can just ping me or in the com and we can discuss that. So um what recipe is going to do? It will like check uh, the results of this spice. It will pass that all the results to this one, and then whatever we will get from this spice will be passed to this one. And here uh, you can add some configurations as well. And if I click here, um, I can add another automation like uh, let's say uh, webhook, and then I'll add like post request, and then yeah, 
um, it will add like it just will like provide your path and method and then add post data in post data i'll just like you can mention key and description um so basically you will you will see how what data you need to pass and you can mention that key and like add description and click click on like create uh the web will be added yeah so um what this recipe is going to do you will provide company name it will find your company url or of linkedin company url then it will like scrap all the details of that company from linkedin linkedin pro, like to your company page and then it will go to like company employees and it will find all the employees of that company and then uh, it will pass all that data like all the company employees that you have received in the previous files will be passed to that webhook that you will add so and then you just provide like what details you want to pass uh, everything here and it will be passed to your favorite tool let's say um you are using like uh, hubspot or any other crm which supports webhook or even slack then you can add webhook here and you will be getting all the results back into your slack channel right so this is how the webhook are going to be like very really useful and we are working on a webhook which can trigger a recipe so um, this is like post request and like uh, this is this webhooks are like for passing data from recipe to your favorite tool but we are adding one more webhook which will trigger recipes from any external service so if something happens on let's say on any tool or like any slack or anywhere then you want to trigger that recipe then you can use webhooks so um even like if you are using lemlist or hyperrise or active campaign if they support webhook or even integromat you can add our webhook and that will trigger the recipe and then you can in the end you can add webhook as well basically that will again pass uh, that data back to your favorite to tool right so you can imagine like how uh, good and how powerful that will be right um i hope like um i'm clear to everyone if you have any questions um feel free to drop me can you please not just talk about it but show i think it's not okay okay uh i'm sorry and and this was like if i'm like talking more and more i'm just trying to uh, like explain everything um any other feedback provin jack alex anand any other feedback Hi Jack, Alex. Better to show. Okay. Um. Yeah. So um, this was like recipes, and then here we have some buttons. Uh, save recipe, run recipe, manage lo uh, local and global variables, undo changes. So you can basically, if I click here, that part will be gone, gone right? If I click again here, it will be added. So if you are like going back and forth, you can use these buttons. and then we have csv equal sheet which was like asked by a lot of people and this thing is in that and here you can use uh, use proxy so if you are using like facebook automations or instagram you can use proxy if you uh, click on that and add here it will be like add done it will be added um then yeah process only new users again uh, i have already, already explained this right so if you only need a uh, data that is like unique you don't want to process the same data again again make sure to check this Yeah. Now uh, let's talk about um, Google Sheet. So, uh, if you want to use, uh, if you have LinkedIn for company URL, let's say if you have like thousands of com LinkedIn company uh, name or like just company name, then you want to find company URL uh, and then company info and then company employees. Then you can use Google Sheet. So, what is going to happen? Um, I will simply click on uh, local variables and I'll create few. Local variables like say um, this one like already created, but I'm going to create this. I'm just going to create company name, and you didn't like write any value. Just create the local variables, and then here I just add um, URL and or maybe um, li8, and don't need to add any value like value here. Click add done. Okay. so what i did uh, i created local variables without any value and that will be useful in google sheet uh, i'll explain you how um here insert variable company name uh 
I'll just add company name here. So I'm just adding local variable. Keep that in mind when you are using Google Sheet. Just add uh, local variables there, uh, and that local variables should should not have like any value. Don't add any values. So I created like two variables here, and there is no value for that, right? Um, and then in company info again, I created like li8, and in company employees, li8 in company or it. Okay, so uh, the local variables that you will create in recipe can be used in Google Sheet. So when I click here and click Google Sheet, like these are like local variables that I had created, right? And you will see that in Google Sheet. So this paste your Google Sheet here and local variables that you created will be asked here as like mention that column name. So um, if I create three local variables that are present in your Google Sheet, say first name, last name, company name, company domain, then you can use create local variables for all the columns that you have on the local sheet. And when you click on Google Sheet uh, in, in recipes, all you will see all those local variable names and it will ask you to map the columns. So uh, if I have like Google Sheet here and I just map the columns here. So let's say company name is like the first column is company name and then second column is like LIA to keep, right? And if I have like many columns, um, like if I have all these columns here, just name like query, company, something else, something else. Uh, you can create local variables for all these column names and click on Google Sheet uh, and those like for local variables will be asked here. And just fill that like give the map the column names and click on submit. It will uh, use your Google Sheet to process um, the recipe, right? So um, hope this was clear. Do you have any questions on like using Google Sheet? Uh, it's very easy. Just create local variables name same as column names that you have in your Google Sheet, and just mention the local variables here, the variable you want to use it. And when you click on like Google Sheet, it will ask you to just map those column names, right? And uh, once you like map those variable names with the column number and click on submit, it will use Google Sheet to process the recipe. Uh, uh, okay, I'm just taking comments. Um, can you please explain why we click uh, why we click get cookie? Is it required for each files? Also, talk about when we need to add proxy. Yes, Anand, I'm going to talk about this. Without proxy, sometimes the cookie can expire. The cookies allowed uh, text or login to apps you are referring in the recipe. Yes, you need cookies. Uh, get the permission sent to help. And, and Facebook may ask you to confirm the suspicious activity is actually you. Okay, so Paul, what happens is that like if you're not using proxy, uh, which is nearest to your location, Facebook will see that like you are trying to uh, log in from any other location which is not yours, right? But uh, it can be also solved if, if you are saying warning that um, we, we, we saw a login from this location and if you click on it, yes, it was me. Then Facebook may not show you those like warnings. Uh, so I have tried that, but um, yeah, it is always recommended to use proxies. Uh, so yeah, uh, do you have any questions on Google, using Google Sheet with recipes? Um, I think it, it's it's very clear, right? Just create local variables that you want to, that is like basically the column names, which are present in the Google Sheet. Mention those local variables in the recipe and then click on Google Sheet, map the column names, that's it. Do, do you have any questions for uh, Anand? Um, then they, Praveen, do you have any questions on that part? Okay. Um, okay, so this was recipes. Uh, and then, yeah, here we have save recipe and do and do. I think everything is like explained. Um, then there was like one more question, how to like push data from recipe to Google Sheet. So I'll just add here Google Sheet. And then Google Sheet. Then here, like you need to just provide your Google Sheet URL. So uh, if I click this, you need to make sure it is like candidate and copy. Go back here, paste it, add columns, click on like configure, column name, value, and you say, yeah, query. So if it's a fresh sheet without any data, you can add like column number and then value that you want to add. So it will add like header, and everything for you, which is again really good. And you can add one more column here, like say two, and like you can add column name, like as header, it can be like full name, right? 
and you can like add another like column, add some data, right? And click save. Uh, the now it will ask you to connect that uh, Google Sheet. So I'll just click on configure. Uh, these are like my in the teams like test account. So I'll just click on this and that. Um, yeah, so like this is all you need to do. Just um, give the sheet URL, add the columns that you want to add, right? And then just configure, please click on configure, connect your Google account. And it will ask only to like uh, give Google Sheet permission and just allow the permissions. And then it will like start pushing all the data to your Google Sheet. It's very easy to use. Uh, go ahead and buy it. If you, if you see any issue happening uh, here, you can always like talk to me. Um, just all you need is like, Google Sheet URL, columns that you want to add to your Google Sheet, and then configure, like basically connect your account. Um, that's it. Um, are we adding columns which will be populated by the recipe, or are we adding references to existing columns that are needed? So yeah, I think like uh, if it will be good if you use um, like fresh uh, sheet that will like push all that data. But if you already have something, uh, as in, will the recipe create those columns? Yes, it will. It will create those columns. So uh, if you add like columns, it will create those columns. And um, I haven't checked that whether it will like replace data present in column. But I'll I'll definitely test that and I'll post an update for everyone. So uh, if you have fresh Google Sheet, just use that and just add the column names and uh, connect your account. That should be it. If you, if all the results will be passed to your Google Sheet. Okay, so uh, we talked about spices. We talked about recipes. Uh, public recipes are right there. Uh, let's talk about the proxy and some questions that uh, everyone is like asking us. Um, yeah, so proxies. Why proxies are useful? Uh, it is useful. It basically, it will hide the exhaust server location, um, and it will like Facebook will only see proxy location, right? That's why the proxies are really useful. Um, and then uh, we have, apart from that, there's like some questions on like exploiting terms and conditions of all the platforms, why we are scrapping data. So uh, whole purpose of like building Texas was not just scrapping. We don't want to just scrap data and like throw it, like sell it or let's like, send code emails. We don't want to do that. The whole purpose of building Texas was how we can save time of every business person who is like doing things on the internet, right? And social media is like all that we do every day. If anyone in your sales team, anyone in your marketing team, we spend a lot of time on social media platforms, right? Even if you hire a VA or even if you hire a, an intern who is like basically just sitting and clicking and just copying and pasting all the data from all these platforms, so is just trying to automate that. We don't want to like step data. We don't want to like just uh, send cold emails. We want basically we want to use the data that is available on these platforms to better. Like basically to scale our business, right? We want to provide you better leads. That that is like the whole purpose of building TechZo. So uh, once our integrations will come, TechZo is going to be a really powerful uh, platform. And uh, the recipes that you you are seeing, you will be seeing a lot of integrations here. So just consider like you get some data, you get image, you get email, you get uh, user location from TechZo. Then you use Lemlist to uh, basically personalize the emails, right? You can add images there, you can add location there, you can use like company name there, right? So when you connect these different platforms with Texas, it makes really powerful, right? So that's what our purpose is. We want to like scale businesses using the data that's available on the web. And uh, that that is what we, we are trying to do. Um, do we have any questions? I uh, feel like drop it here. Uh, this is like question time. So uh, this was like all the basics of Texas. And uh, if you don't understand any part, uh, drop a message uh, using intercom, using the chat widget that you see here, and uh, I'll be always available. Uh, yeah, so any other questions? Paul, Anand. Uh, yeah, uh, the whole website, like the webinar is going to be available on YouTube. Um, I, I'll just check again, like the webinar and see if, if this is like really good to like post on YouTube. Um, since like I received 
feedback uh some feedback that this was not really like i was feeling too much but i'll just see it again and if it's, if it's really going to be useful then i'll just like push that uh, webinar on youtube otherwise i'll make another one, one hour of like video and uh walk through all the features again and i'll make like i'll add a fresh video on youtube uh, but yeah Pravin, uh megan do you have any questions uh we can talk about anything that in for like five minutes and then we can uh end this i'll talk about our appsumo launch it's been really well uh it's been like crazy day since last like a week um we are spending almost like 10 to 12 hours answering queries um in, everyone in our team is not like getting proper sleep and we're just like breaking the keyboards uh please check the private chat where i posted yeah definitely um alex i'll, I'll check that um thanks for uh thanks for stepping linking emails um yeah so like we we cannot like scrape anything which is private since emails are like very private thing and uh LinkedIn won't show you emails so we cannot like extract that and yeah uh you can always use like email finder tool to find emails email finder works really well when it's about b2b uh business b2b person but for b2c it's really like tough to get emails uh if we scrap for example 100 people from facebook group how do we ensure that like the next scrap gives us different years so uh yeah graham um i hope i'm i'm talk, like pronouncing your name properly so right now facebook uh, group extractor has limit of uh eight eight or five thousand or eight thousand on our platform and right now also like on facebook facebook will only show you ten thousand names so even if the group member has fifty thousand members or say like one million users or one million members in that group facebook only shows ten thousand number like uh, users that is a limit from facebook side so what we are trying to do we are trying to extract all those ten thousand members so uh, that way basically you are getting all the members that facebook shows in your results right so you need to like run again but if you run it again you will get some new results plus uh some previous ones so if someone has recently joined uh that group then that name will be present in the like next one that you will do right plus all some previous ones as well so uh we are trying to work on something basically we uh we are trying to like see uh which data was like present in the previous result and then like show you only the new results but again that is like a compli complicated query for us on our backend side uh so we are just trying to optimize that but right now if you run group extractor uh we will get almost like all the members that facebook shows so almost 8000 to 9000 members you will get um yeah and 10000 is a limit from facebook side so we can't do anything uh paul i want to be able to find at um at facebook profiles as friend then also add them to list uh yeah paul uh good news is that we have made add as a friend uh, on the facebook automation i'm just checking if that is live okay it's not live yet but uh, that is done so uh, adding as a friend on facebook it's coming it should be available today or tomorrow uh, my team has posted a uh, let me just check facebook he was like talking about the update we are in the evening they mentioned that like adding as a friend is now available um i'll just say that it's this it's like id finder okay okay it's not like uh available here but it's done i'll, I'll make that like i'll push that uh, automation live today so all you can try it. it so now you can like extract all the group members and then connect them uh as friend on facebook so that is again going to be a really good one yeah any, any other questions um also important to add them as a friend list for segmentation oh yeah for segmentation i think you can use our crm so uh that's, that's a, okay a very good point we didn't talk about this so uh tags are available in crm um so here if you go to actions uh you can add the you will see three options here add tags add new column email finder so uh if i click on add new column you can add here say um platform or 
say tool right which tool you want to use something like that and um, you will see this tool column added here and if i just select you here um, select this one at click on actions add tax column tags are like tax column is added now we can like basically click here and add some tags so this tag um then another tag then maybe um new tag right so if i select this and add another tag so how this part, this feature is going to be useful we are going to integrate email integration which is almost done uh, it should be available in one or two days email integration is already done so you can connect your gmail or g suite account and then send emails so the, the tags are going to be useful to segment users segment the users that you get and then basically if, if you add tag as like say location uh, france location india location us or like location japan right so you want to send them a personal message right since uh, if someone is like is staying in japan you want to send the message in japanese right for example so tags are going to be really useful there and tags are basically just a way to segment users right so uh, this feature is already there uh, it will be once email integration goes live we will be discussing more and more about tags and how you can send personalized messages using tags to segment users i mean friends list in facebook so i can post for profile updates for target to a specific friend list yes that is also uh, a good a good thing that we can do so that's like a, a beauty of tags all right it's all about like in your imagination you can do a lot of things using tags all so everyone is going to use tags all differently since we provide all the automations as it is it's all about is all up to you how you can mix spices how you can like apply your imaginations to build complex recipes right and once we have integrations then basically there the this is like limitless right you can run a lot of automations you can combine different like integration pipelines you can run different recipes right okay uh, i think we are done is there anything else we can discuss uh i hope it was good uh, did you like learn something did, is there any, did i talk about something new uh, which was not uh, known before or uh, you were knowing everything was this webinar good thank you thank you thank you for watching this um uh, message over facebook yes paul you can send a message as well uh yeah based on segment yeah you can send personal messages to those users definitely thank you uh, thank you for joining in uh i'm glad uh, you liked it then uh, i'm glad you find it useful we will be doing more and more and you can always just join the webinar and come and talk to me uh, i'm very open and you can discuss like apart from things we can rather discuss other parts as well um we are very open and transparent company you'll be seeing a lot of updates from us on medium on indie hackers on our texo blog i'll be sharing all the insights that are happening inside texo and how we are going as a company so um stay stay with us and um join our journey um you have already like joined so that is a good part yeah in the next webinar we'll be discussing uh something specific to platform maybe we will start with linkedin so in the next webinar we will discuss in depth how we can run our automations on linkedin to make complex lead generation pipelines so that is what we are going to talk about in the next webinar okay uh, it's around i think it's around 10 13 pm here i'm just going to uh, stop this webinar have you have a good evening and thanks for joining in we start a facebook group for okay yeah we already have a group uh, we already have a community i'm just going to drop a link so that everyone can join let me just share uh, send the link link quickly thanks for community we already have a group which is very um, engaging people are talking about things uh, if you have not joined our group i really like add messages uh in the comment that to join our group i'll just add a link here
we already have a group call you can you uh you didn't join our group it's already there uh i always add our link in the emails as well so you have uh added the link please join in and see you there uh you can always uh in, in on our facebook group uh please give us like your um comments uh and how was this webinar and what did you learn um currently you can send photo not yet paul we are working on that feature it was requested by a lot of people it will be available very soon okay uh should i stop this webinar i'm, I'm so glad that like everyone decided to join in uh thank you for watching this uh in the next time uh, video in the next webinar we'll be discussing all things about linkedin and how we can like run complex litigation pipelines on linkedin if you have any scenarios that you want to discuss in the next webinar related to linkedin please um comment on like our facebook post and we'll be discussing that um in depth so if you are doing something how you're doing your legionation pipeline on linkedin manually please drop the comment on facebook and then we will be discussing that in our next webinar we will take the real cases real real life use cases and discuss that and see how we can automate that on text of okay uh, thank you thank you for watching this uh, webinar everyone have a good day have a good evening have a good morning as well since we have users everywhere good bye bye take care peace Vamos, 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 vamos.